my name is Dhruv Vishwanath and I'm a singer-songwriter and I'm a solo percussive acoustic guitarist or SPAG for short. The thing about fingerstyle guitar is it's pretty much all instrumental. So there's no words, no nothing. So I used to perform these songs on stage and then I realized people were always talking over me. So I started whacking the guitar thinking like, okay, pay attention to me now. And then, no, that didn't work. And then I started singing and then, you know, and then I had to make awkward eye contact and all that stuff, like, you know, so. Anything to make sure that, you know, people would feel uh, extremely uncomfortable. When I was 13, 14, 15, that was the time when I really got into the electric guitar and I used to play a lot of big electric guitar solos and I was telling my friends, I could do like five string guitar suites, ha ha ha, what can you do? You are waste time, no, no, no. Like, you know, slowly over time I had to like calm down and realize that there was a lot to learn. I actually kind of rediscovered the acoustic guitar after my dad passed away. I'd be playing on the electric guitar like at three o'clock in the morning. I looked at it as a form of therapy. And he was a very funny guy and he was a very lively person and I felt like, you know, why not take the same energy in what I was doing on the electric and put it on the acoustic. I started my journey into music when I was seven years old and my mother wanted me to learn the piano and she said that women fawn over pianists. So as a seven year old I knew exactly what to do with that information. I, I, I just stuck to music and uh, on the journey I kind of found the guitar along the way and it's just a matter of growing up and figuring out new things. So yeah, I've been playing music since I was seven years old. That's a really long time, wow. I hate writing love songs. I don't like writing songs about love because it's just icky. When you listen to a love song in today's context, it's all about the confirmation of the action of those people. It's less about the feeling that you have sometimes. Like I said, how many times can you say my anaconda don't before somebody slaps you? The songs I, t I tend to write about feel like they come from the little person inside of me. For example, I wrote this song called Wild and it was about the last day of your childhood. Can you imagine when the last day of your childhood was? Like, I don't, but it happened one day. And then we grew up, then we had responsibilities, then we had other things. So that's the kind of in-between I like to write about. Please. <laughs> I think now I'm, trying to un I'm starting to understand that I'm not just a guy who plays the guitar anymore. I'm, I'm a guy who has stories to tell. My biggest dream in life is to make music that is the soundtrack to your life. Now Bollywood is everything like you know you imagine yourself dancing in a spectacle and everything of the sort but nothing seems too realistic about it and my music I feel like should be I, I try to create it like it's a soundtrack to my life so if it somehow fits into a scenario in your life that's what I feel like my music should be. This guitar here is Willow, you know, I absolutely love her, she's, she's great. The one before this was Andrea, and the one before that was Catherine, the one before that was Naomi, and uh, the one before that was Sophie. Yeah, this, it goes a long way. I just had names for my guitars and all that stuff. Being independent is such a viable choice. More than anything else, uh, the fact that you maintain almost all your rights, distribute your music, you can also maintain how you want it to be presented. You have opportunities to put it in films and television advertisements and you know, there's so many different opportunities which you can manage independently. My obsession with hats came from the fact that it became an accessory to my performance. I'm not trying to say that you know the stage is like a place of sanctity, you need to like cover your head when you get on stage. <laughs> 